All right, thank you, Freak. Momentum definitely in Complexity's flavor. Favor after that one. Speaking of the mid lane, there, what do you think? Are they? Uh, do they have to deny them Ziggs or something? Is probably just going to keep uh, handling Shifter. Want to go? <laughs> <All right. laughs> sure. Uh, Can you fix that with bands, or is that a mental thing that's going on? I think it's a mental thing. Uh, I'm watching the uh, coast faces right now, and they're not really talking at all, even mm -hmm. like throughout the whole game, not, like barely any movement in their mouths. So I think they're really on a downward spiral right now, and they haven't come out of that slump yet. And if they want to stay in LCS, they have to pick it back up. Maybe they need to fix it with Lee Sin, because Lee Sin was a big story <laughs> in, the, in the early game. It was a big story in this game. Uh, Broken Shard, you guys talking about last game, uh, you thought he was a better jungler. This game, it showed pretty, uh, pretty clearly. Yeah, I think he pretty much out jungled and tended really hard. He killed him at like uh, level three or so. Actually, let's uh, let's bring up the replay of that. You okay. can talk about this because uh, we do have a broken shard kill at red buff. This was pretty much the, a really big swinging point because it negates all of Elisa's pressure. Uh, just because like a lot of LCS players don't really do this, at least jungler wise, because this is sort of like a cheese. But yeah. they had it awarded, and they and Elisa exactly knew uh, where. At least started, and he got there just a, a little bit uh, ahead, and he manages to find him, and he'll pretty much just kill him because Lee Sin level two is way stronger than Elise level two. It was kind of dumb of uh, Nintendo to kind of face track. He should like W'd first mm -hmm. to get the um, vision, but I think he used it on Raves maybe. And maybe it was yeah, and like you said, not a lot of LCS players do that because it's more of like a solo queue strategy, going red to red invades. Um, and with all these new level ones that are happening, he definitely did not expect that one. Yeah, for but sure. that yeah. was not the first objective that he took away from Nintendo. We also have another clip of a of a dragon steal. We'll get to that one later, I guess. Okay. Um, do you think that Lee Sin is a big enough deal that they either need to ban it or pick it away? I'm I'm not too sure. I, I really do think it's more of a mental thing. It's not It's not like a pick, you know, it's not because they have like Lee Sin or anything like that. Mm -hmm. um, they just need to play better and just kind of step up their game. But that's really hard to do, especially when you're um, zero and two. So it's going to be really hard for Coast to pick up their slack and, you know, just come back and, and stay strong. Because um, from what I've seen, I've seen like uh, Zion and Shifter do like pretty well in their lanes, but, mm -hmm. and that's kind of expected of them. But um, it's kind of up to the bottom lane and, and the jungle to kind of um, synergize with with their solo laners, and so that they can work and coordinate as a team. Because right now, uh, Complexity Black is doing pretty well in terms of map movements, and you know, they're grouping up and taking objectives. Yeah, if there was a weakness uh, for Complexity Black, it might be the top lane there. If you are Complexity Black and you're looking to secure your third win, guarantee your way into the LCS, are there any changes you would make, maybe uh, coaching Westrice on his picks, on his uh, early play? Uh, I would just have uh, Complexity Black play as safe as they can and just take it methodically. Uh, Coast isn't really responding to their pressure and they're just buckling up and letting Complexity Black run them over. And Complexity Black just have the momentum right now so they can just take the series 3-0. Yeah, let's take a look at that Dragon Steel because this is a play, not playing safe, but this is how Complexity Black are just rolling over them. They are literally taking away every objective, just stealing it right out from under their nose. Yeah, this is Coast's fault because they don't have vision of Dragon fully, so this can happen right now. And Broken Shard just goes in, steals Dragon for free, W's to the Warden, flashes out. So that was basically Coast's crappy vision control. <laughs> well, crappy vision control. At the same time, it's like it just shows like how confident and how much more willing they're you know, willing to make the play. And you can see Complexity Black, they're all yelling and, you know, they're all high in confidence. So uh, it's kind of a, it's like, it's it's really different compared to like uh, earlier's Cloud9 Tempest, where they're not really willing to be aggressive and rather they were more pa passive. But mm -hmm. we've seen Complexity Black right now, they're making plays and they're being, being aggressive. All right, so our final question, of course, we're going to have the final predictions. Do you think it will be a 3-0 or is are we going to go to more games here? I think it's going to be a 3 0 for uh, Complexity Black. You know, it's kind of against what I've seen or what I've said. But um, from what I'm seeing right now, it just seems like, you know, Coast isn't doing too hot. The mental barrier is just too much to overcome. Yeah. Afro, what do you think? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I want Coast to stay in, but I know. They're, they're just not. Vote with your right brain, now. not your heart. They're, they're not performing right now, <laughs> so I'm going to go with uh, Complexity Black 3 0.
Okay. Well, there you have it, you guys. That's uh, all that we have for now. But when we return, we will see if Complexity can close out the series in our third game between Team Coast and Complexity Black. Don't go anywhere.